question for you. Have you ever completed editing an image using Luminar Neo and then wished that there was a strength slider on the entire effect? Perhaps you overdid it a little bit and want to just dial the whole thing down. Well, there is a way to do it and it might be a surprise. So follow along on this quick tip and I'll show you how. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and if you want to learn all about photo editing, you're in the right place. So let's get started. Here's an image that I've gone a little bit too far with in the editing and I'd like to dial down the effects just a little bit. Of course, you can go through each tool and adjust the sliders individually, but is there a quicker way to do it? Yes, there is, with a couple of things to watch out for. First thing I'm going to do is save this one as a preset. So just go to the bottom and choose Save as Preset. I'm just going to call it Sunset Boat. Next, what you need to do is either reset the image and revert to the original. You could do that here. Or what I did was I just copied the raw file so that I could have them side by side to show you. Let's take a look at how this works. Here's the original unedited file. I'm going to take it into presets. Make sure you're in my presets and not in another section. And you should see the one that you just saved at the top. You'll notice if I hover over, it shows a preview and it looks very similar. Now, if I apply it as a preset, voila, there is now an amount slider. So look at what I can do. I can just simply dial it down just a little bit, maybe go to 50%. Now, I did mention that there was a couple of things to be aware of when you're doing this. One thing that presets don't save is erase. So I had done the erase tool on here to get rid of the dust spots. So if you're going to apply this method, just make sure to do your erasing last, or you may have to redo it after applying the preset. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that whenever you are saving to a preset, it copies any masks that you've applied on the tools as well. For example, on this image, I had used the structure tool and I masked it so that it only applied on the boat and the ground areas. Now in this case, because I was applying the preset to exactly the same image, that wasn't a problem. But if you want to use this preset on an entirely different image, you need to be aware that the masks come with the preset as well. So you may have to go in and adjust the masks. So can you see yourself using this little trick? Let's do one more thing. Now that I've applied the preset and dialed it down a little bit, I'm just going to add one more thing. Let's just add a vignette, just ever so slightly. The reason for this is I want to alter it with one more tool so that I can then save it as another new preset. So I'm going to save it again, and I'm going to call it Sunset Boat Softer. So the effect is just minimized a little bit. Let's take a look at the original over-edited image and compare it to the new dial down version. You can see that this little trick indeed has done the job. This actually came up as a question during the Q&A session with Skylum Team Live recently here on my YouTube channel. If you want to watch the entire Q&A session, there's a link to it in the description area below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my teaching style and you want more step-by-step -step instructions to learn the software, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course. You'll find a link to it in the pinned comment below. Click either of the videos on the screen now to watch more photo editing tutorials using Luminar Neo, Lightroom, and Photoshop.